the practice that it is for week 12 starts in Yeshi Lama on page 35. It's under the section called training and it is the second paragraph. So it reads, second training with the inner aggregates. One imagines a blue-black home, the size of a hand span, hand span penetrating one's entire body, piercing holes so that it is reduced to particles. Recite Hong with tremendous force. A sign of success is that the body muscles begin to quiver. And similar to a reflection in a mirror, the experience of there being no true inherent existence arises. This pacifies illness and demonic force possession of the inner aggregates and serves the purpose of liberating the body in clear light or luminous emptiness, if you will. So that is the practice. So the week's practice prior to that was that we were sending out these abrupt hong, you know, hong, 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 and shattering or destroying things outside of us. So now we're bringing them back into the body and doing effectively the same thing in terms of the aggregates within ourselves, form, feelings, and so forth. All of those things is, is what we're destroying as a part of this practice coming back at us the other way. In the Great Perfection text, starts on page 87, and the title, Advanced Training with the Aggregates. And this is very similar. It starts off with having the correct posture and then chanting Hong forcefully. Visualize Hong syllables with the four characteristics, fierce, violent, sharp, and swift. Only this time imagine them piercing your own body. Imagine them boring unhindered into your entire body from front to back and top to bottom until it becomes evanescent or disappearing and insubstantial, kind of like a rainbow body. To conclude, chant one long hong. This is a little bit different than the Yeshe Lama. One long hong and imagine your body becoming like a sieve inside and out and then relax. As a sign that it's working, your muscles begin to burn, throb, and ache. So the signs are slightly different instead of spasms and so forth. Sense that the body is insubstantial and evanescent feeling that it lacks inherent existence. When this comes to pass, you will be adept at this practice. And then it adds here that up until now, we cling to I and me, self, and so forth. But from this point forward, that all changes. And we understand that the body lacks any inherent existence. And this will rid us of any clinging towards self. We gain confidence and be free from any fixation or attachment toward the body. And we liberate the aggregates into luminosity, the rainbow body. So this one uses the rainbow body term that uh, Yeshe Lama does not use. But very similar in terms of doing the actual practice. So in the actual practice here in the handout, we have again isolation of speech related to energy, manifestation, or appearance. And so for week 12, training and flexibility with respect to your own body. And here you can see in the picture where his body's been penetrated by these hung syllables. So a blue hong, one cubit in length in this case. Now in one of the texts to talk about it being a palm, so a cubit would be from the elbow to the tip of the palm, so a little bit larger. So one cubit in length emerges from your body, then penetrates it over, leaving no spot untouched and disintegrating into nothingness as you recite hong powerfully and harshly. If your body tingles and goosebumps rise, those are signs of subduing the demon of reification and realization of emptiness. 
So we're getting rid of the idea that the body is really real, so to speak, and replacing that with this realization of emptiness, emptiness being the lack of inherent existence. Doesn't mean we don't have a body, but its nature is different than we normally uh, understand that. Transcendental wisdom aspect is the same. Post-meditation, we apply this as we go about doing our day, maintain this separation between appearances and the experience in your mind as we go about doing these things. So the practice in all three instances is quite similar to each other, a few little nuances of difference, and so you can make your own choices in which of those you choose to apply for this next week.